Well, here we are back in the General Porter blacksmith shop this morning with my dog Dixie and uh, Jim Mechanic, and we're going to finish the film that we started um, in April, the beginning of April. We uh, we did a um, a basic blacksmithing DVD that um, we didn't finish. Uh, since you've viewed that DVD at this point, we want to explain one portion of that that we did not cover. And that portion is the fire. And I know that uh, having viewed that DVD from beginning to end, that you're going to be curious about how do we get the metal hot and what method are we going to use. Today, we're going to talk about a coal forge and we're going to show you exactly what happens in the forge. We're also going to show you how to start the, the coal and, and how to heat the metal. So I'm going to go to the blackboard here and explain what we're going to uh, do in a minute. Basically in a coal forge we have a fan, which you see here. It can be in the form of a bellows, it can be a form of electric, or it can be uh, hand operated. It's going to force air through a tube and the tube is going to wind up in a twir. It's a, a duck's nest at the bottom of your coal forge. And there's usually a clinker breaker there and a, a method of dumping the ash out of this area here once it's burned, called the ash dump. Above that you'll see coal and coke piled up in the twir and then the top of the forge. I've cleaned this out in here and I've found a number of pieces that I'm going to uh, explain to you what they are. First off, I've got some pieces of coal in lump form. This is the way it comes out of now the we, earth. We dug out a couple of what we are calling clinkers. It's, it has metallic sound. You'll see on here, you'll see these big round pieces. It's it's impurities that have solidified where the air blast comes in. Now what we're trying to produce is this product, which is coke. And coal, once it's been heated for a short period of time, the volatile materials, the coal gases and the tars will burn out. And it'll create this uh, structure that's kind of like glued together and it'll burn very, very clean and very, very hot. This is what you want, especially if you're making knives or anything with tool steel. You want to use coke, coal that's been previously burned and, and quenched with water, and, and uh, you have a good supply of that. Basically, I'm going to do the same exact thing. I've got the ball. I'm going to place it down in here. I'm going to put a few pieces of wood on top. along with a couple of uh, pine cones and then we're going to start to crank and we're going to fill in with the coal. I think we're going to find this is going to work real fast. We're going to have a fire in no time. What we're going to do is we're going to place this along the edges and create an area that is going to uh, be heated from the center and that stuff that's on the outside perimeter will be heated and as it turns to coke it won't be uh, so smoky for us. As it gets, as it burns in this area here we can push this together. Keep pushing it into the fire you see where it's starting to smoke around the outside edges now? That green coal is actually making into, going to be made into coke. We have coke in the center from the last firing of the forge. And you can see it's, it's smoking out here only because those edges are being coked. If I would push this over top of that fire, there wouldn't be enough heat to draw up the smoke into the chimney and it would become very, very smoky in here. Sort of like what we had when we first started. 
because it was a little slow in starting. So I'm going to let that cook for a few moments, and then I'm going to push it closer to the fire. I'm going to crowd this in a little bit more. You can see, if I scrape this off, there's a, a section in here right now that's, that's coked. It's, it's, you can see how it's swelled up. And if you wanted to uh, make a bunch of coke, you would pull this out and actually sprinkle water on it to uh, put it out. And then you would save, you would keep continuing to make coke until you have enough to do a, a certain process. Now that we've got enough coke, you can see how it's burning all on the outside now. The whole outside of the mound is burning. And it's going to become uh, like a, uh, a gumball that's, that's solidified. And we'll have to break that up with a, with a, uh, a shovel. This is a piece of half inch square stock. And we've got the, this is still quite dirty, the fire right now. You can see the yellowness to it. But I'm going to, to place, if you place a piece in this way, not a good idea. What you want to do is, is lay your iron on it push down and slide it forward. Okay, what you're trying to do is feed the twir with coal. You want to feed the, the coal down to where the air is coming in. You can see how quickly it's heated that half inch square stock. Do you notice how it's red here, dark here, and dark here? That's because I shoved it through and this end was in to the green coal on this side. If I want that end just to be hot, I push it in that hole, push in a little bit more coke, and push in about that and far. You'll see that the end now is hot, and it's, it's cool back in here. I want this end to be cooler, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it through, and I'm going to crank until I almost burn the center in half. That end will still be black. Now you can see here, Look at the end. See how red it is here? But it's dark on this end. Because I pushed it through into the green coal and heated the suction. That's what's really, really nice about a coal forge is that you can heat small areas very, very hot. Now that this area up here is very small, if I stick it in the fire again and I'm not mindful of where that point goes, it'll burn off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rake around to that side some green coal. You can see what it looks like now. I'm going to push this in and down. I'm going to push this through. And I'm going to heat the area behind that point. Okay, I'm going to pull that out and you'll see that the tip See how this is almost sparking back here? It is sparking. The tip hasn't burned off at all. It's not, even, it's not even that hot. See how much darker it is out here? And that cross section is very small. And if I stuck it in the fire, I'll show you how quickly you can burn that if off. I dig in here, and let's say I push back the green coal. This is still green. You see how it's still wet. I'm getting into a crust now, see? That's green, that's green, that's dry, but this is, is coked up. It's hard. If I dig in like so, you'll see how it'll just... This is what you want to do when you're done with your fire, is break up the coke, pull it out of the fire so it'll actually go out. Very hot work, very hot. And then you can put that out with, with a little bit of water. So, uh, from Hookstown, Pennsylvania, me and my Dixie dog, uh, Dixie, come on over here. She's sleeping. She's getting older, aren't you, Dix? And Jim Mechanic are here trying to explain basic blacksmithing. <coughs> Holy smokes. <laughs>